Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Jeff Michael. I uh, thought we would update you on some of the stories we are working on today. So here is the rundown. A fire broke out in Koreatown, damaging at least two businesses. It had been burning for three hours somehow before firefighters got there. The flames first started at a chicken restaurant, then they moved into a karaoke bar. Nobody was hurt. Also new this morning, eight shootings, eight now linked to Malibu Creek State Park in the last two years. That's where this Irvine father was killed while he was camping with his two young daughters last Friday. Detectives are now looking into whether there's a link between his murder and the past shootings. They happened in and around the park starting back in November of 2016. All Toys R Us stores are going to close their doors for the last time at the end of business today. Some locations actually closed up yesterday. Last year, the 70-year-old retailer filed for bankruptcy. Several efforts to keep it alive fell through, leading to today's final closure. Toys R Us will still have some stores open, though, in countries including Canada. Three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff. There it is, SpaceX back in action this morning. The Hawthorne based company launched a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral. It is hauling nearly 6,000 pounds of cargo, including the first robot with artificial intelligence bound for space. And there are some mice on board as well. The shipment could reach the station by Monday, should reach the station. They know exactly when it's going to reach the station. Anyway, here is Daniel Gersh with Look at Your Weather. All right, <laughs> good morning, everyone. 60s and 70s along the coast this afternoon. A gorgeous weekend on the way. Cloudy out there to start your Friday. Sunshine later this afternoon. 70s and 80s for the basin, mid to upper 80s for the valleys, the Inland Empire. Your extended forecast shows will be in the 70s this weekend. For the beaches in the basin, valleys in the IE climbing into the 80s, 80s and 90s for the deserts, and mountains going to be in the 70s and 80s as we head into the weekend and next week. Jeff. Daniel, thanks. That's it. That's the rundown. We're always on at CBSLA.com, and we hope you join us for the CBS2 News at 11 a.m. I'll be there along with Sharon Tay. Have a great morning, everybody.